ChatGPT and AI can save you loads of time, but there aren't many guides on how to use it to help you to study and learn faster and more effectively. I've spent the last week playing with ChatGPT and figuring out the best ways that it can be used for studying to save you a ton of time. So here are 13 techniques to use ChatGPT for studying. I've included a bonus technique at the end, and I've added in a link in the comments below to a cheat sheet containing all the prompts in this video so that you can try them out for yourself and steal them. So hit that subscribe button and let's find out how you can study smarter, not harder using ChatGPT. Now, if you like using mind maps for studying, knowing where to start can be really, really difficult. ChatGPT can help you build an effective mind map just using some simple prompts. The more specific you are, the better the mind map that you'll get. You can start off by putting down a topic, like for example hypertension if you're studying medicine, and then ask ChatGPT to create a mind map listing out the central idea, main branches, and the sub-branches. You can then draw it out and fill everything else in yourself. You can save time by asking ChatGPT to create a study timetable for you. Be specific and explain the subject and topics and how you'd like to study and when. You can do this for a daily study plan or a weekly plan or a monthly plan in the run-up to an exam. Again, be specific. Add down the subject like GCSE biology and the topics that you want to study for a given day, week or month. You can ask it to break the plan up by time and day and you can say if you want to study by test questions or reading or watching videos and you can even add in breaks for food, exercise and watching Netflix. Now, active recall questions are the most effective way to learn, but creating recall questions can take time. Question banks can be expensive too, but you can ask ChatGPT to write questions in the style of your exam, which you can then practice later. For example, you can use the prompt where you add in a topic, for example, multiple sclerosis in medicine, and then be very, very specific and ask ChatGPT to write out a multiple choice question with one correct answer, four incorrect answers, and then list out explanations for each. You can do this en masse in a batch and then save them all to Notion or Evernote or your note-taking app and come back to them at a later date when you need to test yourself. Now, if you need to write an essay, knowing how to start can be really difficult, and being persuasive in your argument is a skill in itself. But you can actually use generative AI to write an essay on any key topic. Map out the topic first, so for example, it might be War of the Roses if you're studying history, and then ask it to act as an essay writer and research the topic and then formulate a thesis and a persuasive piece of work that's both informative and engaging to read. Identifying missing words is a quick way to test comprehension and is particularly good for languages. Duolingo even uses it in their app. ChatGPT can quickly create missing word content to save you time of having to think about it. For example, for the topic English as a second language, you can say to ChatGPT, I want you to act as a fill in the blank worksheet generator for students learning the above topic. Your task is to create worksheets with a list of sentences. The student's task is then to fill in the blank with the correct word. It will then generate a whole bunch of fill in the blank questions that you can practice at a later date. And this is great for teachers too. If you're studying math or any technical subject, actually understanding how to complete equations can be very, very challenging without the help of a teacher on standby. Luckily, ChatGPT can actually break down complex topics and explain them in simple terms. Whether you're asking it to explain a topic or actually copying and pasting in a formula and getting an explanation, ChatGPT is here to help. You can ask it to act as a math teacher and then provide you with easy to understand terms. And this could even include step-by-step -step instructions for solving a problem and demonstrations of various techniques to really understand it in detail. Now, translation tools can be difficult to use and jumping into Google Translate all the time can be very time consuming. But ChatGPT can translate any text into English and even improve English for you if you're not a native speaker. For example, you can prompt ChatGPT to act as an English translator, correcting your spelling and improving any synonyms that you use. You can then copy and paste in any English text that you like or a translation of anything and ChatGPT will use its grammar algorithms to correct it as much as possible and to make it as fluent as it possibly can be. 
teaching yourself or others to be creative is very tough. But games are one of the best ways to learn. ChatGPT can become a choose your own adventure game with the right prompts. For example, you can actually get it to act like a choose your own adventure game, where you type out commands and then you see what ChatGPT responds. You then work through this creatively and see if you can get to the end of the adventure in the time given. This stimulates creativity and your imagination and is actually really, really fun. In fact, a student even created a Harry Potter choose your own adventure game, which has taken the internet by storm. The Socratic method uses questions to examine the values, principles and beliefs of students. And actually understanding how to be good at logic and reasoning is difficult. But ChatGPT can actually turn into a Socrat with the right prompts. For example, you can prompt ChatGPT to question your beliefs using the Socratic method. You can then make a statement and ChatGPT will question things and get you to respond to develop an argument. This is great for anybody studying law or history or anyone who just wants to really expand their logic or their reasoning ability. If you need a quick reminder on the key points of a topic, ChatGPT has you covered. You can ask it to summarize text or just give it a topic to summarize in general. For example, you could ask it to summarize something about ancient Rome and then use the prompt, what are five key points I should know when studying the above topic? This simple but specific prompt will then generate bullet points that you can study from and expand your knowledge around. ChatGPT can explain things in language that a second grader can understand, and this is a great way to aid understanding and turn complexity into clarity. And it's basically the Feynman technique, but using AI. By specifically asking ChatGPT to summarize things in a way a second grader would understand, it will break down any language and help you to get better clarity around pretty much any topic. If you're a big fan of Quizlet, Anki or any flashcard device, you'll want to listen to this tip. Because creating flashcards can be really time consuming or using pre-made flashcards can be quite inaccurate. But ChatGPT can actually bulk create flashcard questions and answers in a spreadsheet format that you can then copy. To do this, you need to give it a prompt where you first prime it with a topic. For example, in this case, it might be photosynthesis. You then ask it to create a two column spreadsheet with questions and corresponding answers on the topic listed. It will then list things by question and answer, which can be easily copied and pasted into any flashcard software. Self-testing is the absolute best way to learn, and using active recall questions is an evidence-based study method. And ChatGPT can actually quiz you on any topic live. Instead of creating active recall questions to use later, you can give it a prompt around a topic such as GCSE Biology, and then you can make ChatGPT act like a teacher and actually give you individual questions that you then need to answer correctly in the chat window. This is pretty fun and engaging, and if you just want to jump in and get to questions, it's a great place to start. Generative AI isn't just for copywriting. Did you know that ChatGPT can review your code? You can paste in any code or ask a question about coding principles to help you solve problems and learn by doing. Whatever you're working on, just paste it in and ask ChatGPT for help. You could say something like, I want you to teach me how to code. I'll post a line of code and you should explain what it means in simple terms. If you love learning from videos, but you find it hard to remember anything because watching things is a pretty passive way to learn, if you head over to YouTube and open the transcription tab and then copy the individual video transcription, you can then paste this into ChatGPT and ask it to summarize the key points. You can then test yourself to explain these key points using something like the Feynman technique, or you can create your own resources from this. This is great if you want to start up your own YouTube channel and just need some prompts to get started. For example, you can use something like summarize the above text into the most important points and display the points as bullet points with short descriptions. Now, make sure you check out my video on generative AI, which I'll put up here, and do hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos drop if you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing, and I'll catch you again next time.